The last microbe that we're going to talk about is fungi. And fungi are um, molds and mushrooms, and um, they can they they are decomposers, so they're very important to the ecosystem because they break down uh, decaying material. But they can also infect um, people, and they can infect plants and cause a lot of damage. So the kingdom fungi includes um, five different phylums. So the the first one is the bread molds, and so you would see these on bread when it gets moldy. And then there are water molds. Um, the sac fungi are the yeast, the morals, and the truffles. Uh, Basidio micata is club fungi, and these are the mushrooms and the puffballs. And also included in this is rusts and smuts that will infect plants. And then um, the last one is the fungi imperfecti. So the characteristics of fungi is that the cell wall is made of chitin, and chitin is a carbohydrate, and it provides um, a lot of structure to that cell wall. So that cell wall is not made of cellulose like in plants, but it's made of chitin. So that's one of the reasons why fungi are in um, a different category than plants would be in. And um, fungi are heterotrophs, they're major decomposers, so they're absorptive heterotrophs. So they, they don't just ingest an organism, but rather they, um, they ingest the nutrients from that organism. Their body is made of long filaments of hyphae, and these form a mycelium. And so if you look here, these thread-like structures are the hyphae, and then all of them together form the mycelium. And then fungi can reproduce sexually and asexually. So if it's um, asexual reproduction, it reproduces by spores, and if it's sexual, then the hyphae join together and mate that way. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is the bread mold. And the bread mold will produce vertical hyphae. The vertical hyphae will have spores on top of it. And when those spores are released, they will fall onto other parts of the bread and produce more mold. And then they also have horizontal hyphae. And those hyphae are what are in the layer of the bread and they're what are actually um, absorbing the nutrients from the bread. And this shows the, um, the sexual reproduction of that type of mold. And, and what happens is the hyphae will grow towards each other, okay? And so we'll have one of the hyphae that we designate as a plus and one of the hyphae that we designate as a minus. And they grow together and then it'll undergo meiosis and when it germinates, it will release these spores. And so that's um, a form of sexual reproduction. Yeast is a very important fungus. Yeast is used to uh, make bread. It's used in brewing of beer and wine. And so yeast um, is a, an extremely important fungus to food production. And then we have the club fungi. And so these are the ones that produce the mushrooms or the toadstools that we're used to seeing. And there's, um, there's a particular anatomy of these. And so what you'll see is that they have a stipe. That's the stalk of the mushroom. And they have a cap. So that's the very top of the mushroom. And then they have these gill structures. So they'll have this part right underneath the cap that kind of looks like gills. And this picture shows um, several different types of basidiomycete fungi. So we have bracket fungi, which grows up on the edges of trees. We'll have puffballs, um, regular mushrooms, and then a really interesting fungi called jelly fungi, which actually looks just like a blob of jelly. And some other 
uh, basidiomyocytes are rusts and smuts. So rusts and smuts generally will infect plants. So rust will infect wheat leaves and um, cause a lot of crop damage. You know, fungus breaks down organisms. It's um, a decomposer and it's extremely important in our environment to break down this, um, these different plant, the dead plant matter and dead animal matter. But when it starts to break things down before we're ready, like when it starts to break down our crops or our gardens, we're not too happy with it. And then there's water molds and these are um, better known as mildew. And so these are kind of protist-like because they have characteristics in common with plants. Um, they have a cell wall, um, but these are molds. And then there's something called mycorrhizae mycorrhizae and this means fungus root and it's actually a mutualistic relationship between plants and fungi so what happens here is these um, will form by the roots of plants and they allow the plant to take up more nutrients and more water and the fun these the fungus it acquires carbon from the plant. So this is helping both the fungus and the plant. And without these particular um, fungus here, these plants would not grow as well. So we find that they're more productive when this fungus is there and available.